yeah, nice for being here. My name is Patrick. I would like to talk about the new customer journey in uh, Web3, most likely also in Web2 sooner or later. Um, so we know all uh, how our works with awareness um, up to sold the products. It's pretty monolithic uh, how we have it right now. That means we have the company that decides what kind of products they are pushing out. They're hyping people up, they're selling the product, they take the profit, that's it. So, we, so what happens in Web3 is that we actually have communities that take over uh, part of this project, part of this uh, uh, journey, and they actually want to get involved. So um, I would suggest a new customer journey. We, going, uh, we start with engagement, go to iteration, uh, launch, reward, and then actually, oh, I, can, I cannot read it anymore, sorry, and then we come back. Um, many Web3 companies didn't do it right yet, but we have a few good examples for each stage, so I, want, I would like to show you these. So for example, for the engagement, um, there is one classical company, it's uh, Board ABR Clubs. They did not everything right at the beginning, but they, at least they started good. So what you could do there, and I think that's their main reason why they, why they actually have that good community at the beginning, you were actually able to go on their website, there was a bathroom, and you were able to draw on this bathroom. And somehow that was really engaging the whole community. Everybody wanted to draw on this bathroom wall, right? And, and after that, everybody started to sport their PFP. So I think there the engagement was, it was fantastic. It was just, it was really, I don't own one, just to, <laughs> there's no advertisement in that. Uh, but it was really, that was the reason, I, I think that was the reason why they um, became that big. Then we have uh, iteration. There, there are a few interesting projects at the moment. One of them, the one I like the most, is deepobjects.ai. What they actually do is they had an AI design sneakers. I think they designed about 100,000. And then they let the community vote them down up to, I think now we are, we are at the last 10, if I'm right. Um, the last 10 will be voted down to three by the community and their design team will then tweak them a little bit to make them 3D printable. So that's a pretty good idea of, of, uh, of iteration and community involvement. Uh, we also have, uh, interestingly, Porsche. Um, they had a little bit of a bumpy start. Uh, they came around beautifully, I have to say. Um, and I don't say that because I'm involved, it's just they did. Um, what they do is they have, they have um, evolving um, metadata. That means their NFT evolves depending on the reaction the user takes. So if the user takes certain choices, the NFT will change in the next stages. Beautifully done to bring the community in. Um, then we have the launch here. Um, I think I have to go back to to um, to open uh, to open object AI, uh, deep object AI, 3D, 3D printing a shoe that was chosen by the community is pretty cool. So that's really, I think that's a launch. That's yeah, I would I would say it's it's uh, it's very good. Then um, the next one I have, I see I have to hurry a little bit, sorry, is the, is the rewards, 3D um, Web3 projects, they can do that. Either you get coins or you go get more NFTs. Honestly, it get bo gets boring. I prefer Web2 brands that actually, because of their IP, can get out, give out uh, physical merch. That's, it's, it's fantastic, this, this connection between uh, Web3 and Web2, right? 
Uh, what do we have then? Then we have the activate. Um, that's the easy. It's actually today the, the almost easiest part because everywhere in the world is someone that likes your product. Even if it's, I don't want to go into the strange details of products that get sold today, but there are markets for everything. And because they are digital and because most of the people are in the digital space, you can find buyers for everything. Um, then, yeah, we, I would like that these are, these are some, of the, some of the key points we see nowadays. Uh, bureaucracy is breaking down. Even so, sometimes we don't believe it, but it is. Um, most of the projects still build about strategy. Um, sorry, build about tactics, not strategy. So you, if, you, if you drop anything, if you drop any project, if you produce any project, you have to have a strategy. Not just, I want to sell it. It's, you have to go beyond in everything. In, your customer is demanding that. So that's, the, that's a shift in customer view. Your customers want to develop together with you. They don't want to be your customers anymore most of the time. They want to be part of your community. You have to embrace that as a brand and, and you have to be ready to actually let your customer getting into your processes. Yeah, so you have to embrace these new possibilities. Uh, don't try to stay away from, from these changes. And actually, it's something that naturally already happened uh, all the time. So if you think about the first Model T uh, from Ford, there was like no customization, no co-creation. There was nothing in. You got a car, and that's it. You take it or you leave it. Then we had the CNC that emerged. We finally got nice things. Um, then actually, in Web3 and Web2, the sneaker colorways are coming up where you can choose what kind of sneaker color you want. Uh, like with this 3D printing uh, is, is coming very much where customization is part of the product. Um, then I think this deep object is at the moment very high up in this, in this uh, pyramid because there you, you started, you, they started at the beginning. They asked the customer what they want to do, right? Um, and just the last thing, that's one of the ideas. We are not there yet, but I'm thinking the, the pinnacle of all is that we actually start with a community, and I think Web2 brands have the chance to do that, that they start with a community building and then ask the community what is the next thing they should do, if, if it is in Web3 or in Web2 or whatever. But I think there is a huge chance uh, to take to learn from your, from your fans, from your community. Don't, don't use them as customers, first of all. First, use them as, communi as community, as co-creators. You can, you can do co-creation. You can even do co-profit share if you, if, you, if you sold something. But use this power of the community you, can, you have and, and hopefully can build. So that's, I hope, the... Uh, certain insights I get you there. My name is Patrick, and that's my data. I'm around if you if you have any questions or if you need it. I hope it works. So, thank you very much. <laughs>